Hey tribe, welcome to this week's studio vlog. I'm Heather of HD Designs Crochet and you are most welcome here. So if you are brand new here, hi, hello and welcome to the tribe. I am a crochet designer, I am granny square obsessed, like obsessed. Um, and I'm also really taken with arrow knitting at the moment. I'm wearing this Aran jumper that my grandmother made me for my 30th birthday and today, tribe, I've got a lot of good stuff to show you. So if you are returning, you will know that granny squares are, I mean, if you were to do that game like where you say a word and then you think of a word that goes with it, so like mouse and you say cheese, um you'd say granny square and then you would say me you'd say heather so i want to show you what i've been working on I'm going to show you some of the things that i've been getting up to today so i actually have recorded this introduction mid-afternoon because this morning i wasn't quite camera ready but don't worry i've took load of footage and i'm gonna put it in so you can see what i was up to earlier today i'm in the yarn room as you can see i am prepping for the release of some patterns. So I have a couple that I want to get photographed this afternoon, which is that one, it's called Toasty, and it's a hand warmer, I'm gonna show you more later. And then I've got these slippers as well, I'll show you them on quickly in a minute. Um, so I'm actually prepping the second slipper and all of the bits that go inside of it so that I can do the tutorial pictures and then once I've got them done then this afternoon um, I need to clear off my desk <laughs> because it's got so much stuff on it and we've actually got all right lighting so I'm hoping to get some decent pictures This is my hand cozy. It's called Toasty and I finished this um, a couple of days ago now and all that needs to be done is to take the photos. I've even written up the pattern so it is ready to go out to be tested. It is a panel of granny squares lined with this Flutterby chunky velvet yarn and then trimmed with this faux fur and it is designed so that when I stand up You just pop your hands in and it keeps them warm and cozy. Um, I have really, really poor circulation, so things like this are really useful for me. You see that end poking out? Always does this when I'm on camera. Got a snippet. Hi, you beastie. Done. Accessories, 
like this in my outfit make a huge difference. Isn't it the cutest thing ever? And I wish you could feel how soft and cozy and warm this is. I absolutely adore it. Another end. Ha, you beastie. would look really good with like just head to toe granny squares granny squares accessories like I could wear my promise dress I could have this and then I could have my bag that's granny squares iconic and like I could just I mean you could never have enough granny squares so yes I'm absolutely loving this it's <laughs> the pattern of dreams it comes in one size, but I've shown in the pattern how you can modify it if you want it smaller or bigger. I've made mine quite big because I have a really fluffy um, winter coat that I like to wear, which means my arms are a lot bulkier than usual. So with the coat on, it fills that gap. Um, but other people might want to just make it a wee bit smaller. I, I've put the instructions in there so you can do what you please. I, once the pictures are taken today, then it can be sent to testers and <laughs> I've got so many that are going to testers but hmm so when is this going to be released well <laughs> I feel like I need to do Dr Evil or maybe Grinch fingers where he's plotting Grinch fingers when will this be released I have a master plan, of course. Date to be confirmed. I, do you know what, it's really weird because I know exactly what patterns are coming. I know exactly what date it's coming. But I also know that I work better when I just say it's coming. Because if I tell you the exact date and the exact patterns, I'm a freak out about the amount of work that I've got to do and that I don't wanna let you down. And so nothing will get done because I would just be paralyzed by it. So, we are going to work with patterns are coming and you need to sign up to my tester. Um, I've got like a, a link on my website at the very bottom where you can sign up to be a tester, which then means when patterns come out, I email my tester list first um, so that you can apply before anyone else. And then I also have a pop up on my website, which says sign up for the newsletter. And you want to do that as well, because when patterns come out, I send out discount codes to my newsletter list. Um, I did that with the last pattern that I released, which was Iconic, and I sent a discount code. Um, so if you know that you've seen, I mean, I think everyone has seen a granny square pattern over the last few months on here. But if you have seen a granny square pattern that is just calling to you and you really want to make it, sign up to my email list because you'll also get the discount code. <sighs> I've also got this and it looks hella funky on my hand because it's slippers. So this is my granny square slipper pattern. It's called Snugs and they are granny squares lined in the fluffy and then it's got the trim, the fur trim. These are indoor use only. Um, but I decided to put the fluff on, the fair on, because why not? And they are so, so snuggly, so, so warm. I wear these without socks and they are so warm. You have to be your biggest fan. And when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working, but there's something inside of you that says, I just have to follow that because you don't know who you I know I'm going to be making numerous pairs of these. These took me about, well I made the second one this morning basically so I could take all the photos for the tutorial and I've already written it up, it's already been graded, it's good to go to testers. Two that are going out to testers, hopefully this evening. So there's one, two, three, four rounds to the granny squares. I'd say the granny squares took me about an hour, but you only need like six of them. So, you know, super quick. Um, and then the inside bit probably took me about 40 minutes. 
and then to put it all together and do all of the trim that probably took me about 20 minutes and then the ends needed to be woven in so um i'd say all in all that you could make a pair of these in like four or five hours easily and you could speed it up by making the centers all one color so every round on the granny square if it was a solid color like you did the entire thing in bright green or bright pink then pomegranate just yeah. pomegranate <laughs> if you did them all in one color it would be even quicker because then you wouldn't have the eight ends that I had. Um, super, super quick gift. I've called these my snugs. I made them like matchy matchy. Um, not something I would normally do, but purely because I put on my Instagram stories, do you prefer matching or odd? And the amount of people that were like, if it's not matching, I don't even want to see it. So yeah, I um, made them matching. It, oh no. Oh no! <laughs> I'm so sorry. I made them matching, only the soles are the opposite way. Oh no. Damn it. Okay, so I made them matching and then this happened. Sorry, like I really tried. They still match though. Um but I wouldn't normally make them matching so I definitely want to make another set they will not be matching each granny square will be completely different colours now I'm not going to lie because I was so oh I've done it like that as well look well they're both on the inside it just means I don't have a left and a right I was so pleased with myself whoops oh, I can't even change it now because I've woven in the end um when I was making them I changed the second one ever so slightly that's the beauty when you make samples when you've got to make a pair of something you can really get it spot on so if you can see on this toe it's quite wedge shaped but on this one these are so warm on this one I've made it a lot more rounded can you see the difference um, and I've explained how I got the more rounded one, which I prefer in the pattern. Um, it's just that by the time I had figured it out, I've already woven the ends in on this one. So I'm going to leave it, but going forward, rounded toe. Because when this one's on, it just it looks a bit blocky. Also, this is a hint about another pattern I'm working on. Okay, so... How friggin' cute though! <coughs> so, so cute. I think this might be the thumbnail. Um, so, you will have already seen this morning that I was finishing up to get these samples done. Um, I'd made the first one, as I said. I did the second one. This is the second one. I made the second one today just so that I could do all of the tutorial pictures here in my yarn room. I've got my studio lights and a white desk which is a great background for all my tutorial pictures. Um, and then I've tried to take a few photos of this but I could do with doing a few more. And then um, I was going to nip out to the fields and try and do it by myself but my um, this button's not working. I think it needs another battery. So um, Brad has said that he's actually finishing work early today. So I'm going to get him to just quickly go and do a few pictures with me. And then I've got to figure out how I'm going to do these pictures. Um, and then I've got one more pattern that I want to take some photo, like a pictorial of. So I'm going to try and do that this afternoon. Um, which then means that I will have three patterns ready to call for testers. feels so good to say that after the way this year has been so so good um because 
I've been ill so like being ill in itself is frustrating but then knowing that it's going to cause at the very minimum a six week delay on your pattern is really really infuriating because I try and give six weeks for most patterns to be tested I mean most likely this will only need like two or three weeks but if it's a big garment then I need to give them more size and sometimes even six weeks isn't enough um, so if you think that I need to finish making the sample, get it written up, some of them need tech editing, then it needs to be sent to testers and then they need six to eight weeks, maybe more, and then you can release it, uh, yeah, it has been really, like, disheartening, that's the word, it's been really disheartening to just know that, like, okay, fine, I've got to let myself get better and then when I'm better... I'm gonna have that delay um yeah anyway I have a set of patterns all granny square that I am intending to release as part of my granny drop so most of the details are secret for now I am going to announce the drop date at a later point and I will confirm all of the patterns that are being released closer to the time as well um, so I'm spending quite a bit of time getting a lot of these granny square patterns just done so that they can go out to testers at the very minimum and then they're kind of off my to-do list until all the feedback comes back, obviously. Um, one of the things that is really, really spurring me on is wanting to fill up my folder with my patterns. So I'll show you that. I've got this folder, it's a really simple one, it's full of plastic wallets, um, it's from Wilkinson's and once my pattern has gone out for testing, hashtag good vibes only, I then allow myself to add it to this folder because once it's gone out for testing it is going to be released, it's just a question of when and I add in my patterns. So I've got Revival here, then Promise was the next one invested which actually i put on yesterday and i've been planning outfits with that and then iconic which is my granny square bag and then all sorts which is my chunky granny square cardigan there is a page behind which has got the design specification for renewal which is another granny square cardigan I've also got the design specifications for, let me get them. Secret project, project that I'll show you now, secret project, and then a pattern that will most likely be included in part two of the granny drop. Um, because I have that many granny square patterns, I'm just going to release them in sets um, and then just continue forevermore because I don't think I'll ever stop doing granny square patterns. I'm working really, really hard so that I can add as many as possible to this. I've actually started writing up, I use Canva to write up my patterns and I'm just visualizing my front page on there. I've got uh, one, two, three, four, five that I've started writing up all at various stages and then as soon as they are done and are cool for testers that it can go in here and that'll be another five and my goal is to completely fill this up now that I think there's 40 wallets um, and I could always make them double sided as well so imagine this with at least 40 of my patterns in there and I can just flick through and show you them so that finished point is really keeping me going. I hope you've enjoyed watching me prepare my patterns for testing and I will see you in the next vlog. Don't forget if you want to be a pattern tester to sign up on my website and also if you want the discount codes for the patterns, sign up to my newsletter which is also on my website. Okay, and I'll put the links below and you can also get the links on my Instagram. Take care, thanks for watching, bye bye. See you, goodbye, cheerio, bye. I do this with my grandma on the phone and then Brad's like, put the phone down now. I'm like, bye, see you, love you, bye. And then he's like, boop, boop, boop.